Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful sunny Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm Brian Tuttle with Carolina Aircraft, here today to show you one of our latest listings, this beautiful 1992 F-33A Bonanza, November 109 Bravo Alpha. Let's take a closer look. November 109 Bravo Alpha is a beautiful 1992 F-33A Bonanza. This airplane only has 1,525 hours total time since new it only has 225 hours since factory reman IO550B 300 horsepower engine. You can see here we also have the really nice DeShannon baffling system. It goes all the way around and up on the cowling as well. This really helps to aid in cooling of the engine. Uh, also we have this very nice three blade Macaulay prop. This only has 10 hours since overhaul. The paint on November 109 Bravo Alpha is in gorgeous condition. This was just repainted in 2013 by KD Aviation. You can see the top half and the cowl is Matterhorn white and we have Bahama blue and Bristol blue trim. This is in beautiful condition. I don't think there's a paint chip missing anywhere. Really nice. November 109 Bravo Alpha has been very well maintained by CNW aviation services in Caldwell, New Jersey for the last 12 or 13 years. The elevators were just reskinned last year with the aluminum STC. They're in beautiful condition. Also the rudder cap has the knots to you uh, speed mod and it also has aileron and flap gap seals by DeShannon. November 109 Bravo Alpha has the nice big baggage door along with the Medco locking system. As I open it up here, you'll see also this very nice knots to you pneumatic door opener. That is very nice in case you've ever been knocked in the head by the wind, uh, you'll really appreciate that. Also, this airplane comes available with the optional fifth seat and is also wired for intercom in the back as well. We just have the seat removed for demonstration purposes. You can put up to 270 pounds in the baggage compartment as long as you stay within the center of gravity and the useful load on this airplane is a nice 1,017 pounds. The interior on 109 Bravo Alpha is in very good condition. The seats are a medium blue leather. Side panels are uh, blue as well with white trim. Uh, you can see I've got the windows open today. It's a nice 70 degrees here in, uh, in Greensboro. These uh, really allow in a lot of fresh air when the engine is running, but also serves as an emergency exit as well. Um, I'm six foot two, 215 pounds. I've got plenty of room back here, plenty of leg room, uh, nice ample amount of headroom. I'm very comfortable back here. Very nice interior in really good condition. November 109 Bravo Alpha has a very nice instrument panel for IFR flight. Let's take a little closer look. Starting in the top left here, you see your electric two-minute turn coordinator, airspeed indicator, your King KI-256 attitude indicator with flight director, your altimeter, vertical speed indicator. This is your King 55A slaved HSI system. We have a backup electric attitude indicator, and this airplane still has your ADF as well. Below here we have your KFC 150 two-axis autopilot. This autopilot will fly in heading mode and nav mode coupled to the Garmin 530 and as well will uh, shoot approaches. And below that we have a very nice electronic S-Tech yaw damper system. Here we have our King KN53 DME this has NAV1 and NAV2 switching with DME hold. This is your second indicator, which also has a glide slope. And your WX1000 storm scope. The center panel in 109 Bravo Alpha has your manifold pressure gauge and your fuel flow. Has a very nice horizon digital tachometer. In the middle, you have your two fuel gauges for both wings and all of your engine instrumentation, your cylinder head temperature, oil temperature, your amps, and oil pressure. This has a very nice JPI 800 six-cylinder engine monitor 
with fuel flow and also has your standby gyro pressure system for safety and just to the right here is your analog EGT gauge. The right side of the instrument panel houses your PS Engineering PMA 7000M audio panel with marker, your Garmin 530 GPS, now this is WAS upgraded, it also has terrain as well. Just below is your second NAVCOM, this is the King KX165 NAVCOM, your KR87 ADF with timer, and a nice digital Garmin 327 transponder. On the far right we have our instrument air pressure gauge, our Artex ELT. We have a very nice JPI 450 engine monitor fuel flow system and our standby generator system. November 109 Bravo Alpha has a very nice Signet dual control yoke. You can see here on the pilot side you have your mic button in the back. This red button is for your autopilot disconnect. You have control wheel steering button here. Your electric trim. In the middle, middle you have your Beechcraft chronometer and a map light as well and you can see this dual yoke is in very nice condition uh, there is dual push to talk system on it as well also available on 109 Bravo Alpha are the very nice Rosen sun visors you can see here we have a vertical card compass as well all the windows on 109 Bravo Alpha are in beautiful condition uh, no cracks or crazing at all, no clouding If you're in the market for a nice F33A Bonanza, come see us in Greensboro, North Carolina and take a closer look at this beautiful 1992 model, November 109 Bravo Alpha. This is a really low time airplane. It only has 1,525 hours total time since new. It's been upgraded with the DeShannon IO550B engine. That's a 300 horsepower engine. The prop only has 10 hours since overhaul. This is a true 175 knot plus airplane. It's been very well maintained by CNW Aviation in uh, Caldwell, New Jersey. Last year it had new paint. The interior is in beautiful condition. A lot of the avionics have been upgraded with Garmin. This truly is the F-33 that you'd like to own. You can see us on the web at www.carolinaaircraft.com or give us a call at 336-665 0300. I'm Brian Tuttle with Carolina Aircraft. Thank you for watching.